Hey, what's going on guys? PSV here and welcome to a, the little surprise that I and the reason why I haven't been uploading for a week. So this is the Logitech G27 that I actually got tonight. And this is the reason why I haven't been uploading because I have been working my socks off at work all week during my half term to be able to afford one of these. I was going to do an unboxing but I was filming it but then my camera decided to die. I thought I charged it but it didn't charge properly so yeah it's not really an unboxing but I thought I was, I'll still show you everything and all that malarkey so let's move on first to the steering wheel so here's the steering wheel as you can see it's quite solid at the moment it's because I'm not on a game um, it's not I'm not on a game that's why it's so solid but if I'm on Eurotruck it's much looser but city car driving it's not much looser. That's the only problem I have at the moment. Is that it's not much looser. But I think I just need to play around and hopefully we can sort all this out. So let's move on to the features of the steering wheel. So this is 11 inch. I think it's 11 inch. Real leather wrapped. These bits here. Also as the flappy paddles. You can hear them little click. They're also, they are stainless steel metal. All real stainless steel. Like real leather. Not really real stainless steel, get stainless steel, stainless steel, but yeah. We've got like the nice Logitech logo there, that's really nice. Also we've got six keys. What we can function on each game to your liking. So how does this mount on? So basically we've got these little twisty bits here. They literally pop out, as I will demonstrate. They pop out like that and then you can twist them. Then just push it and twist. Well, they are quite fiddly to get back in, like so. And then underneath, using my phone as like a little torch so you could see, it, it when you turn the nose, it grabs hold of the desk so you can kind of see how it all works there. So while we're down here, so that's the steering wheel. So down here, we're going to take a look at the pedals. So sorry if you see a bit of my phone there. So here's the pedal, obviously we've got the accelerator or gas, brake and the clutch. That's what's so awesome about the Logitech G27. They're all stainless steel metal as well, with a nice, kind of, I don't really know what the name of this is, but it's, it's nice to help your feet rest. And now underneath the Logitech, uh, the pedals, the Logitech pedals, there's a carpet grip. And as you can see, I'm pushing all my foot into it and they're not really... They're not, they are so stiff, they don't move it at all. So the pressure behind the pedals are so quite realistic to like a car. Like accelerator is quite easy to push. The brake is quite, getting quite difficult. And the clutch is easier, but not as easy as accelerator. So they're quite realistic as in the real car. So let's move on to the final bit. And that's the gears. So before anything, I'd like to just demonstrate or show you that it's held on by a bracket. You can see there that that you literally just turn your finger and that clamps on but then also you have the same sort of mechanism as the steering wheel where you can pop them out and then twist it as well so it has that bit of support extra I'd like to say the steering wheel look as you see it's very sturdy this is all sturdy not going anywhere so this is the ship there the six gear shifter As you can see it goes in quite easily then obviously reverse, you've got to push down and into the side. Then push it out neutral. Also here you have four red buttons, which also you can program to yourself for your liking on each game. Also here we have like a hat, they call it a hat button, where you can program as well. And then you have four buttons here where you can program as well. So you've got many buttons that you can program for all the individual buttons. Like on Eurotruck you know you have loads of different buttons. So yeah. We've got them all programmed in. I've still got a couple left what I'm still going to program in. Also here, that is like a light, just like a power light. So I'm going to show you the box because I was going to do be doing an unboxing. So let me move over. So as you can see, this box here is because I had to, I got it from PC World, but you have to order it online and then collect it in store. So that's like the delivery box. It was like a box inside the box. And this is the main Logitech box. So as you can see here's got the picture of the three things, the Logitech, this is quite a cool picture at the front, 
you get like the steering wheel for how it is then you get like a picture of the gears and half a steering wheel of what it's like inside it what I think is quite cool and just says G27 force, pe uh, force feedback wheel pedal set also you just have again pedal and gears just a bit of information in different languages on the back is literally the same but you have like loads of information in all different languages so it fits for everyone inside we just got some cardboard what was around the pedals and stuff just to keep them a bit more protective so moving over we had all this packaging loads of packaging we had all the stuff in so these are the manuals that we get we didn't actually get no disc what well, I thought we got a disc but you can not easily download it offline so I think that's what they're doing now off their website so these are the four leaflets I got so this one is just a safety and warranty and stuff Put that to one side this is basically a telling you what you think of it you can go and do a review and basically just saying thank you for purchasing it and this is them trying to get you to buy a play seat for it. They do look pretty awesome, but I'm pretty happy with it on my desk. Also, the last one you also just get a basic information one of where to plug it in. The only thing is, is that that looks like to me that that's pointing on the side of the steering wheel when it's actually not. It's next to the same plug, like underneath the steering wheel, where you plug your pedals in. So that did confuse me a little bit, but. I just had a quick put this around and I found it. So this is basically you get obviously the three pin adapter than a two pin. So it's suitable for anyone in any countries. That's just more packaging over there. And that's everything really. There's one downside. The only downside is is look wires. That's the only downside. There is like a thing underneath the system where you can wrap it round and tidy all the wires up. But like I uh, need a bit of slack as well because it's also, it's going under my desk into my PC and stuff like that. So I hope you all enjoy this. I'm going to give it a proper review once maybe a month or, or a few weeks of being able to use it. Of using it because I can't really give a review after using it for a few hours. I forgot to say this bit here. It hasn't actually, I don't think it really works properly on like computer games. But this is for the PS3 as well. And on Gran Turismo I know it works. It's like one of those things where you know when to change gears, you know when the lights all flash up kind of thing. Uh, if I show you on the box, you probably can see like at the top. Yeah, it's one of them. So like I said guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll give it a proper review once, you know, once I've been able to use it for a little while. So I can give it a good decent review. Um, this actually cost quite a lot of money. This was £200. But so far, after using it for a few hours, I can definitely say it's worth it. You get what you pay for. It is quite over... Not uh, not overpriced. It's not over. It is quite expensive. But like I said, you get what you pay for. And this is just quality. It's the best purchase so far. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video. I was going to do an unboxing, but like I said, my camera's playing up. So I do apologise about that. But I wanted to get a little video out. I'll tell you what, I haven't been uploading for a week because I've been working my socks off to be able to get this so yeah expect this to be in most of 99% of my live stream when I do Euro Truck this would definitely be used and some of my YouTube videos so guys I hope you all enjoyed this little video please ensure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and please feel f or please go over and check my, out my Twitch, Facebook and Twitter page and maybe leave a like and a follow there so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers guys.